<laughs> Welcome to OG Comics Review. Boys and girls, friends, family, and hoes. I am the OG, coming to you from Panama City Beach, Florida, living the three men in the basement life. Yes, uh, Otto and Roger, good friends of mine through the interwebs. Never met them. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start off this show with a bang. I hope to not to keep you too long. Um, you guys know I like these to be about 10 minutes, and that's it. We will probably go over, because I've got polls. I've got my, my top one from the previous week. I've got cover buys. I've got a toy to share with you. That will come with a story. Anyway, in case I didn't say it, coming to you live from Panama, Panama City Beach, Florida, living the three men in the basement life. We're going to start off with this, guys. This was just phenomenal. I never say that right. Bear with me. Um, this is Sins of, <laughs> Sins of Sinister, Storm, and the Brotherhood of Mutants. She mentioned this way back when. We were like, what? What are you talking about? Are you talking about the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, Magneto's gang? No, this is something totally different. This is fantastic. This is written by Al Ewing, which is doing a fantastic job. Guys, gals, if you are not into your X-Men, and I know it's complicated, you're missing out on something special. This has been fantastic. Only a couple issues in, but it's been fantastic. Mr. Sinister has been cooking, and he's been cooking some no good food. But it's got me drawn in. Al Ewing has done a fantastic job. Only two issues in. Uh, we have a new character, John Ironfire, an Arakoan, very an Omega level mutant, so we believe. But his power is um, actually it's his blood, uh, molten blood. We don't know. We're still learning about him, but he looks awesome. I would suggest for you spec buyers out there to buy his first appearance. Uh, Storm is dealt a blow by Mystique and Destiny. We still don't, we don't have it ironed out whose side they're on. And um, and I'm looking at my cheat notes because I did read this a week ago. As you know, the OG can't keep all of this in the noggin. I need cheat sheets. Um, okay, so Storm is kind of backed up here. Um, the X-Men have been turned. Anybody that's gone through the resurrection, which I hate has manipulation, gene manipulation, by Mr. Sinister. Basically meaning Sinister can control them. I mean, yeah, yeah. And I've never been down for this resurrection thing. Not a Catholic, not a practicing Catholic, but only one person can resurrect the dead. Just my belief. GMO. Um, what will Storm have to do? Will she have to resurrect, see... Uh, push the resurrection of Magneto. He's been resurrected. He should have uh, uh, sinister manipulation. How about Tarn? Tarn the uncaring. I would love to see Tarn come back. Though it was, it was, it was his wishes that he not ever be resurrected. I thought he was an amazing villain. How about Vol freeing Vulcan? I can't stand Vulcan. But Storm needs some heavy hitters. Who knows? Right now, you guys know how I feel about Storm. She is slowly winning me over. She's always been a fantastic fighter, an outstanding uh, leader. She's winning me over big time. She is a boss, and I've always said that. Anyway, some cover are these are some eBay buys. Uh, Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos 35. This comes from 1966. Yes, I'm still into my Hitler. Um, I don't know if I showed you this or not, but I wanted to get that into another pile. <laughs> this is um, the gorgeous Power Girl, and I love me some Power Girl. This is uh, David Nakayama. Had to have it. Okay, now we're going to get into pulls for 215. Haven't read any of these yet. So bear with me. Fantastic Four, a reboot. The great Alex Ross. Fantastic Four, the great Alex Ross. 
This, Planet of the Apes. This is the Planet of the Apes. Planet of, you guys have no idea how hard it is to talk through this mask. Do I sound drunk? <laughs> Enough. Um, this is a Planet of the Apes variant. And you see the Statue of Liberty. Reed Richards on the ground, knees in the sand, reliving Colonel Taylor, Charlton Heston. Man, did I love that movie. Did I love that moment. Like I've shared before, in beautiful Panama City Beach, we have a, a beach that is less than a mile from me. Beautiful beaches. The most beautiful beaches I have ever seen. But when I hear the sound, it takes me back to the Planet of the Apes. Greg Land, Captain Marvel, being attacked by the Brood. The Brood are an outstanding villain, a whole race built on nothing but taking over all life. If the Brood are in it, I'm down for it. Avengers Forever, you have Dr. Doom. It looks like he's taken over Ego. Another Planet of the Apes variant, David Talosky. I'm not familiar with him. But what I didn't know about this, the ape, this is actually a gorilla, has got Howard the Duck on there. I love Howard the Duck. This is going to be part two of Sins of Sinister. Can't wait to read it. Nightcrawlers. These supposedly are the Chimeras. <coughs> and if you all know, the, chima the Chimeras are um, clones, basically. Mutant resurrection process, once again, with multiple powers of villains. Or multiple powers of heroes, villains, whatever. Whatever Sinister chooses. Um, you may have a, a guy with Cyclops' powers in a Colossus body with Wolverine claws. Just that is the Chimera. Wolverine, a Glenn, Greg Land uh, issue, Planet of the Apes. The Brood by Russell Dodderman. Trading card variant. I love the Brood. Can you tell? Let's put this one aside. I'll share that last. I didn't buy this last time. Um, I'm going to read it. So far, I've heard that it's not really that good. Uh, Silver Surfer and a new character called Ghost Light. We'll see how it goes. I was going to pass on this and got talked into it because I heard it was actually pretty good. This is Red Goblin. Blue Goblin, Purple Goblin. I'm sorry. There's only one Goblin, and he is green, and it's Norman Osborn or... It's Harry Osborne. That's the only goblin I know. Anyway, this is done by um, Inuk Lee. Beautiful cover. Going to give it a shot. Going to give it a shot. I love these. These. This is Tom Riley, the window shades variant. I love those. This is special. This is this is uh, deep to my heart because back when we were young, living in Manhattan, Kansas, collecting our comic books, we knew what the Marvel bullpen was pushing. <coughs> Excuse me again. If you found mistakes made in Marvel Comics, you could write to the editor, to the publisher, and they would give you no price. It basically meant nothing. You didn't win anything. But once in a while, somebody did get a letter from Marvel Comic Books saying, yes, good job, you win a no prize. It was a, it was a, it was a letter from Marvel Comic Books. I would have died to have one of those. And I did try a couple times. Anyway, we're going to do one toy because we're getting... Um, into the time zone that I don't like. Um, this is a Funko Pop. This is what we know as Namor from Wakanda Forever. And of course, and I've got to keep notes, um, ooh, um, Namor was Namor, and he was not from Atlantis. He had a Mayan as Tekken background. And where he was from was actually Talokan. It's fiction. And his actual real name was Kool Ku Khan. When I first saw this, I thought I was I was not very happy. I was downright pissed. But it grew on me and grew on me, and I really grew to like it. I have yet, I gotta sit down maybe today and watch Wakanda Forever. I saw it in the theater once. Um I loved it. My only thing was that during the funeral services for T'Challa, I thought 
you should have had some Avengers there. That's about it. I do believe that they should recast Black Panther, T'Challa. He's too big of a figure, too important to not the MCU, but to Marvel comic books readers like you and like me. Anyway, slap the ass on that like button. We're going to bring this video to an end. Make sure you visit your local comic book store. Dig into those long boxes. I'm digging into them. I'm finding finds and I'm sharing them with you. We are out of here. We will see you on the flip side.